everybody, Paul here and welcome back to Best Food Review Road Trip. This is the channel where I travel around the country with my wife and our RV Wanda, go to all kinds of places to eat and take you along with us. Today we're in Conroe, Texas and it's kind of a different show because we don't usually do fast food. However, we have Whataburger. If you're down in Texas, it's like everybody knows what Whataburger is, but if you're out on the West Coast or someplace you've probably never heard of it, so you figured we come here, give it a shot, why don't you come along with us? In 1950, a small burger stand opened in Corpus Christi, Texas. The owner, Harmon Dobson, wanted customers to take a bite and say, what a burger! Each decade, the company grew in both their menu and number of restaurants. Now, with over 890 locations across the country, this chain is serving people 24 hours a day with a smile. We're not at the original location today, but we are in Texas where it all started. Walking into the restaurant feels like a typical fast food restaurant with counter service for us ready right away. Everybody was friendly, the place was clean, and we were excited to get something ordered. Now, I do have to address something really important, and that is the fact that Paul is saying the name of this restaurant wrong. It's water. That's yes, right, that's the way they say it in Texas. And because it started in Texas, you should honor their pronunciations. It's simple English people. It's what a burger. When you eat it, you're supposed to be like, wow, what a burger, right? Not water burger. I think it's kind of like a Texas accent, kind of like in Missouri when they say they're gonna wash their clothes. So I'll let it slide with Amy. Okay, our food just arrived. Now, I don't generally get a meal with the fries and stuff. I try to skip the French fries. This is a jalapeno burger. And you can see it's got mustard, tomatoes, um, pickles, and it looks like there might be a couple of jalapenos on here. It's not very many jalapenos for something that's labeled a jalapeno burger. It's got chopped lettuce. There's, it looks like American cheese down on the bottom. Looks, you know, as attractive as any fast food burger. Let's go on to the next one here. All right, so this next one is an avocado bacon burger. And as you can see, it's supposed to be on Texas toast. Um, yeah, it's toasty, it's toasted. So I got it with everything. I guess everything doesn't include lettuce, but look at all that avocado on there. Oh my goodness. It's got American cheese, tomatoes, some bacon and some gooey, I guess that's some sort of a, Whataburger sauce, maybe like a fry sauce or something. I don't know, but once again, it looks about as attractive as any fast food burger. I would have liked this cheese to be melted. That would have been nicer. Um, but you know, I guess that's how they serve it here. Now I do like fries, but check out my hamburger. This is just your number one. So you want just a Whataburger, you're gonna get a hamburger with lettuce, tomatoes, uh, mustard, onions, and pickles. Now secret, I used to not like pickles and onions and mustard, but maybe I'm getting older and I just need more flavor. I absolutely love it. And unlike Paul, I do like to get the value meal and this is a large fry. I have to admit I picked on these a little bit already before recording. <laughs> that was full. And then of course they have the uh, spicy ketchup, which um, I requested as opposed to just normal tomato ketchup. So we're gonna bite into these. And we're gonna give you an idea of what we think. So today it's ladies first. I get to have the first bite. I'm gonna go right into this number one Whataburger. Mm -mm. I know. This is one of the better fast food hamburgers I think I've tried. Um, to be fair, and if you watch our, if you've been watching our videos, we just, I just had a hamburger at another restaurant that was incredible. So I'm gonna try to be objective. The bun's kind of smashed here. So it makes the dough feel like it's a little, a little, like it, I want it to be fluffier. Mm. But I think the flavors they put on the Whataburger is really good together. I thought the patty is cooked nicely. It's a little thin, but I think for the value that you get here, it's wonderful. Now, let's try these French fries. Mmm. These are really good. 
They're thin cut. Oh my gosh. I could probably eat these, like even a bigger container than I got, but I'll likely share some with Paul. He says he doesn't want to eat fries, but he will. So I'm gonna start with the jalapeno burger. And you know, I, I keep saying this, but I keep going to places that have jalapenos that aren't jalapeno hot. So, you know, they do put a lot of toppings on here. There's a lot of lettuce, a lot of tomatoes. They're kind of lacking the jalapenos. I'm gonna try one more. Mm. I think that jalapeno is a kind of jalapeno burger. There might be, it's like a mystery burger, like this bite might have it, this bite might not. So I would think that with a jalapeno burger, there'd be a whole bunch of them and you just bite into it and you'd be like, oh my God, it's so freaking hot. Not the case. But as far as a fast food burger, it's pretty good. It does feel like it's been sitting there a little bit, but it could just be because I'm shooting a video and sometimes it takes a little while for me to get to my food. Anyway, kind of excited about this avocado burger because there is so much avocado spread on here and it's got bacon. Can't go wrong with bacon, right? But we'll see. Let me try it. Now that's what I'm talking about. That's just like an infusion of avocado. That was a ton of avocado on there. And that's what I'd be expecting. That's a good burger. Like if you're gonna go to what a burger, then you probably wanna try the avocado burger because with the Texas toast, it's actually pretty darn good. They have this hot, spicy ketchup. Um, which is kind of cool. Usually, like, if you go to a Whataburger, they'll actually, if you sit in, in the restaurant, should I call it a restaurant? Anyway, if you're, if you're eating, if you're dining in, they usually come out to your table with like a big tray and they'll have like all kinds of ketchups and stuff on it. This particular location, they actually ask you at the counter, which I don't know, kind of takes the fun out of it a little bit. I kind of like the personal treatment when they bring the tray to you, but this is supposed to be hot. It's a little spicy. Yeah, you, yeah, yeah, it's a little spicy. I kind of like that actually. I'm not, I'm not a huge ketchup person. Usually, if I have ketchup, it's with something else. But, you know, as far as ketchup goes, it's not bad. Now I'm going to try Amy's burger. Look at this. <laughs> it's flat. See that? It's flat. Now, this burger has like a ton of onions on it, which not you're usually that big on. Like, I like fried onions, you know, uh, cooked onions. Not usually a raw onion kind of guy, but hey, that's how the chef intended it. So uh, I don't wanna, you know, change the profile. So let me try it out. It's actually pretty good. I really like it when they put mustard on the burger. Um, you don't see that too often, but mustard, you know, I'm German. Us Germans, we love our mustard on just about everything. So I'm not gonna take a second bite of this because Amy's gonna get really mad at me if I eat a whole bunch of her burger since I got two of them. So I'm gonna let her try mine. I am gonna try the jalapeno burger now. I'm gonna bite at it from the other side because I noticed when he was showing it off to us that <clears throat> the jalapenos were kind of like slid over. So now his is also like super flat. Mm, I don't think it tastes that much different from mine except for his has cheese. But it's American cheese, so it doesn't have like a huge flavor to it. I guess I can taste the jalapenos, but it's really not that different. If you love jalapenos and you want this burger, ask them for extra jalapenos. I am excited about the avocado burger because I love, 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 love avocado and tomatoes and bacon. Mmm. Mmm. 
this toast is probably a better option for a sandwich here because it, I don't know, just tastes better than the bun. That burger is really salty. I'm not sure if that was the bacon maybe or the bite that I had. I'm gonna have to eat more of this to make a good impression one way or the other, but I'll let you guys know. More fries. All right, so what did we think of what a burger? It's what a burger. You know, guys, it was pretty good. It's, it's fast food and it's, like I said in the beginning of the video, it's very different than what we normally shoot. Um, and we try to avoid fast food places at all possibility, but when you get to like a regionally popular one, um, where people around the other parts of the country have never heard of it, we like to check it out and we like to bring it to you. I think it was pretty good. Expectations are not high. Um, the, when we break it down, you know, they were really friendly. I think they're open like 24 hours a day and breakfast is served from 11 p.m. to 11 a.m. So, you know, if you're out late night, maybe partying it up or whatever, and you want to get some breakfast sandwiches, you can do that. So that's kind of cool. I like any place that's open 24 hours, especially coming from a small town or a smallish town where you only have a couple places in town where you can go. That makes it super convenient. And out here in Texas, Whataburgers are everywhere. Now, that avocado sandwich, that was great. I really enjoyed that. The Texas toast is kind of a different bread to have, you know, and, and they just, I mean, it put like that much avocado on it. I mean, it was just like, I bet it was a whole avocado. Well, maybe not, but it seemed like it. It was good. Uh, the, you know, they could have put a few more jalapenos on there, but, you know, it's fast food. So I would definitely say, if you're traveling through Texas or one of the surrounding states where they have a Whataburger, you've never tried it out, and you're just like, want some fast food, you know, shoot in there, check it out. The food's pretty good. It's pretty good, guys. It's not great, but it's pretty good, and so it's definitely worth your time to go through the drive through or just pick up a burger. Oh, oh, those fries, not that great. Not that great. They're like the shoestring fries, but... They're not like crispy or nothing. Amy likes them, you know, but for me, fries gotta be like over the top crispy and big and delicious. And that's why I don't usually order them at fast food restaurants. If you guys like this video, make sure to give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, ring that bell, but most importantly, shoot us a comment. As you know, we're traveling all over the country and we're headed west. So that means that we're gonna be going through West Texas, going into Arizona, going up into Nevada. We got all these places scheduled, so if you know a good place to eat or just something weird that you'd like to see on video, make sure to shoot us a comment because we'd love to check it out. And if we do a video that you suggested, we will include you in that video. We'd also like to encourage you to check out your local food bank or food shelter, food pantry, whatever you want to call it from wherever you're from. You know, if you can give a couple of bucks, maybe donate some time or some cans of food, you can make a big difference in someone's life and it makes you feel good too. Oh, by the way, I've also included a link down below. So if you don't know where one is near you, you can go to that link and it'll help find it for you. So until we eat again and take you with us, we'll see ya.